Hi everyone, welcome to World of Clan Wars with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is a double shot of T10 Clan War action featuring Crazy Clan. Of course, Crazy Clan, one of the active clans on T10 Clan Wars. A lot of people saying T10 Clan Wars is going the way of the dodo, but not according to a Crazy Clan. They're having a red hot go on the T10 map on the Asian server in this replay. They are up against VAF, Vietnam Armed Forces. Crazy United Nations for noobs and scrubs up against Vietnam Armed Forces on Corellia. Of course, Corellia is it's a map that's been around for a long time and it's got lots of opportunities for medium tanks to run around this northwestern part. And also, traditionally, it always used to be all about the donut when I first started playing Clan Wars, but now it's sort of the, the meter has, has sort of gone back towards being up in the northwest. Looking from IND Ray Yudu's point of view, who I think is the commander or one of the recruitment officers, that's for sure. I'm pretty sure he sent me an invite not too long ago, but he is uh, doing a bit of sniping in his bat chat and maintaining some vision on the eastern part of the map, trying to keep that T11 OE5 lit. He knows he hasn't been spotted himself. Of course, the bat chat's got a much better view range compared to the T11 OE5, which hasn't got a bad view range, but for a heavy tank, it's Compared to the French medium tank, it's probably got the, I think it's got the best view range in the game at tier 10. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. And oh, indeed, Ray Yudu getting some spots up on the donut and he's vastly outnumbered there, spotting a couple of Object 140s and an E50M, that heavily armoured German medium tank. Pinging the map like crazy because he knows he might not be alive for much longer if those tanks push on him. But of course, VAF, they're no slouch. They know if they push on him, there's going to be more people backing him up. And I'm tipping that these medium tanks are probably aiming his way just in case they do push on the bat chat. Zero all is the score at the moment. That sounded like an artillery shell. Of course, crazy have bought a Conqueror gun carrier. A uh, number of autoloaders, two bat chats, uh, the TVP 5051 and four AMX 50Bs, as well as a 113, three T110OE5s, and the, of course the Object 907, the reward tank. Not a great amount of tanks spotted yet. On the enemy side, just a T three T110OE5s now, a bat chat, the E50 of those two Object 140s. Looking at the mini-map, looks like those T11 OE5s and the E50M and probably somebody else is pushing the southern flank. And But luckily the guys from Crazy have probably already worked out when they got all their tanks right up here and realised there wasn't much there, just the one bat chat. They're probably a pretty safe bet to assume they're either camping or pushing the southeast flank. So he's pushed all these tanks back towards the cap to try and protect that push. And of course the Conqueror gun carrier, in, not in a bad position at D1. And Iandira Yudu maintaining vision up on this donut. He's already picked up 1290 hit points of damage. Doesn't quite have the gun depression to go after that bat chat. I reckon, he probably should. You know, I reckon those other Object 140s have probably run away by now. But then again, I've been wrong once before, but it's only happened once. Gets a shot into the bat chat with the score on... 1-0, the, one of the T11OE5s got taken out, and he, he knows he's gone here, so he's rushing the bat chat while the bat chat's on reload, and he just wants to get that one more kill. Misses a couple of shots, one bullet left, and that's enough to take the French autoloader out of the game and run away as fast as you can while you're on the reload. He gets caught tracked and instantly fixed the track that was an amazing tap of the four key for a small repair kit but three ones the score um ind Ryudo got taken out in that skirmish up there but he took a batch up with him which is probably not a bad thing and of course now the amx 50bs are probably reloaded and they want to clean up that is4 as well as the object 140 that have been pushing on to their base and six one being the score the guys from crazy comfortably in comfortably in the driver's seat in this game that those amx 50s possibly reloading now um, as we look at one of the amx 50 b's points of view looks like he's going to go after this t double one e5 and the 113 on his own battling against 
an object 430, but it looks like the 113 the one definitely got the hit point advantage, and that object 130 is running away. Bat chat with Mark Levinson in the driver's seat, going after the object 140. 113 coming back to try and assist, and hopefully he's not going to get taken out or distracted by those big heavy tanks behind him. He is getting shot by those two to T11 OE fives, but with the score on eight to four, he just needs to hug this rock and keep these two tanks lit for his teammates to blow them up and win this. And when you're on eight to two, you got to be you got to be reasonably confident in winning. Looking at the mini map again, the T11 OE fives on the eastern flank pushing pretty aggressively towards the enemy base, and those mediums and AMX 50Bs on the donut, and a couple back from the donut using their opportunities to put damage into the enemy tanks. Looking at Akasha, 178 to point of view. He's been around for a long time in his object 140 and he's just focused firing down that enemy Russian medium tank. The 113 and one of the 50Bs gets taken out of the game as crazy try and wrap this up. One of the 50B, Lost Rabbit, that's where I put me rabbit, is rolling back over the flag, trying to help Mark Levinson in his bat chat and, of course, protect that concrete gun carrier. Even though the score's 10 to 4, don't take anything for granted yet. Now, Lost Rabbit, pretty sure he's going to be spotted here. Takes a shot from the 1 1 T 1 OE 5, but puts some damage into him. Not a real good trade there, but the other AMX 50B gets rid of the American heavy tank, confirming the lead at 11 to 4. And that artillery piece now nice and safe. Definitely out of view range now from the enemy tanks. He would have been pretty nervous seeing those two American heavy tanks push towards him. The Bat Chat looking for some vision on the T110E5. So that AMX 50B hopefully can empty his clip into the heavy tank. Looks like maybe he doesn't have a shot where he is. Not really sure if got Artie does the job and puts some damage. Into that T110E5 and the Batchat cleaned up the kill. 14-4 is the score left. Only one Batchat left on the enemy side. It's looking like a pretty convincing win from the guys from Crazy Clan on Corellia. And we have a very quick look at the post-game battle results. If I could find them. There they are. Uh, it was a very convincing win by the crazy lads on Corellia against VAF. VAF been around for a very long time. They're often very competitive. And you have a look at all this. The good spread of damage as usual from the guys from Crazy Clan, the Bat Chats, the AMX 50Bs, having an absolute ripper. And of course, at the end, one of the boys wanted to kill someone. And there's nothing wrong with that at the end of a clan war battle. As long as the tank didn't get locked up, I would, I'd hate for... Wait for someone's tank to be locked up just because of a bit of shenanigans. But a very good spread of damage from the guys in Crazy Clan on Corellia against VAF as we go into the second battle of this double shot of Tier 10 Clan Wars action. Featuring Crazy Clan. This time they're up against EOBRT. EOBERT, is that how it's said? Extermination of the Boundaries Retention Team. I'm not sure where they got that name from, but EOBERT, one of the one of the from memory, one of the pretty strong teams in the clan wars on the Asian server, and again Ron Corellia from the same side, and I believe this game was played uh, exactly 24 hours after the battle with VAF. Pretty similar lineup this time, going for two TVP T5051s, two of the tier 10 check auto loading medium tanks, two bat chats again, two Russians. Three American heavy tanks, four AMX 50Bs, they worked so well in that last game. And of course the 113, and this is looking like an all-in brawl at the donut. Bat Chat's not loaded yet, again, he fixes his track unbelievably quick. He must have bloody quick fingers, IND Ray you do, in his Bat Chat, but he's, he's in a bit of strife here. He knows that the enemy Bat Chats are loaded because he's loaded as well. He gets taken out. The first one to die, but he led his team on a glorious charge into this all-in brawl in the donut on Corellia. One all is the score now. They take out one of the TVPs on the enemy side. Lose a bat chat. Sorry, they lose a TVP. 
and another bat chat. They kill another bat chat. It's on for young and old, and this is just a case of focus fire as you look at the point of view from the 113. Very quick, nicely armoured Chinese heavy tank. Three alls to score. The 113 looking at probably creating a bit of a diversion for the tanks that are down the bottom to try and take. Maybe make these tanks not shoot at the guys in the donut so they can maximise their advantage on the donut. They lose uh, 50B, they kill a double one OE5, four sixes to score. Are they going to be able to come back? It looks like somebody's capping. Batchat's capping on the base and going for the Conqueror. And I hope that Conqueror's already got a shot out because he's he's done. They're clawing it back though, the guys from Crazy, six to seven. And I and D you do clearly calling this battle and telling that object 140 and 50B to get rid of that object 140 who is all alone. And you'd imagine this 907 should be able to get rid of him as well. 7 8's a score though, they've lost it. It was even for a minute there, and they've lost it. The TVP puts a shot into the TW1 OE5. TW1 OE5 doesn't get the kill shot into the check auto loader, but lockout tank does the job. That tank's not locked out yet. There's an object 260, one of the reward tanks for the personal missions as Cam put using his American armor quite well there up until then against the enemy T11 OE5. 11 10. Now the score is Dr. Yoda Biscuits in his AMX 50B. He's reloading, he's letting his teammates know how long until his gun is loaded and he's is he looking for that bat chat it looks like he is the bat chat's on 1203 health though the amx 50b on a one shot and they're up by a tank again a cable guy killing the tw1oe5 but of course the bat chat takes out the t10 french heavy tank vandal in the 907 from the back kills that bat chat and there's only one tank remaining by the looks there must be two tanks remaining. 13-12 is the score. Uh, of course, there's at least one tank that hasn't yet been spotted from EOBert, unless somebody might have crashed at the start of the game. It look, it's looking like a comprehensive win. There's a T-62A Russian heavy tank back at the base. And this might just be an opportunity for a little bit of free damage. If that T-62A is out of the game, he's no longer spotted, so we can't see him. Obviously, if he's crashed, his gun should be pointing towards the ground. Or if he's just been called away. Looks, yeah, it looks to me like it's pointing downwards, that gun. So this should just be free damage. But obviously, he's still spotting for his team. And obviously, uh, the other unspotted tank is the artillery. It looks like the 907 is going to go for the object 261. We know that he fired and the cable guy keeping safe from Artie just in case he does shoot towards him. Looks like he's waiting for his reload and that T62A. Unlucky not to have loaded into the game by the looks of it or maybe his maybe his missus caught him away from a little bit of hanky panky. Not, a, not the best way to win a game killing an AFK tank but I'll take the win against EO Burt, any day of the week. A very comprehensive, or well, not a comprehensive win from Crazy Clan, but a very exciting win, very close game. And he had, a get, yet again, a very good spread of damage from the Crazy guys, using their auto load as well, as well as their T11 OE5. Object 140 had a good game as well. And IND Rayudu and Boomer, unlucky to get taken out in the early stages of the game, but they, had, they did that big, aggressive push into the donut and not a bad couple of games at all from the crazy clan featuring ind rayudu and his super fast reflexes fixing his broken tracks i'm not sure if that's maybe maybe it's i don't know i've never seen that before but anyway it was a couple of awesome games from crazy clan against vaf and eobert thanks for the replays ind rayudu thanks for watching everyone take care and see you next time